place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Hi guys, it's me again, Maria, and in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how you can create this children's book using Canva and ChatGPT. You can create any kind of book that you want, but in this tutorial, I will be showing you a step-by-step -step how you can make this a simple children's book or any kind of book that you want to make using Canva and ChatGPT. Okay, but before we do that, thank, I want to thank you guys for all your support, especially for my new subscribers and thank you so much for my subscribers for always supporting my channel so if you are new to my channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe also click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video all right without any further ado let's do this all right guys so now we are in chat GPT and then we're going to ask chat GPT to help us to give at least 10 titles about the children's book that you want to make so we're going to ask GPT to give us 10 at least 10 suggested titles about table manners for children so I'm gonna write here 10 titles for children's book about table manners Using dinosaur as a character in let's say 500 words. Okay, there you go. So here are the titles as you see. Uh, ChatGPT gave us 10 titles of this. So what are we gonna do? You, you have it's all up to you guys which one you wanna choose. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna choose uh, dining with dinner. Okay, let's say I wanna make this one. So I'm gonna copy this one and I'm gonna put here and paste here and make a story. About this title in let's say 500 words so what we're gonna do here guys is we're not gonna use this as is okay we need to change something here so that we don't use as the original chat GPT uh, gave to us because you know uh, we need to check some plagiarism things like that but in this video I'm going to use plagiarism checker okay so copy this and go to uh, okay so you see this one killable so here I'm gonna paste here the one that I've copied from chat GPT and I'm going to ask the killable to paraphrase okay so now there you go so here is the the new phrase for this originals so I'm gonna get this one guys so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna copy this one again and uh, copy and let's go to plagiarism so this is another site that you can check your 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 phrase or paragraph if it is uh, you know plagiarized or not I'm gonna paste this one and there you go and then I'm going to check this one and check plagiarism okay so as you see it's zero plagiarized so means that we're okay with this we can use that and a hundred percent unique so I'm gonna use this one let's go back to our um, KDP so this is the size that we're going to uh, to create so, right, so I'm gonna make uh, 8.5 by 8.5 so 8.5 by 8.5 inches inches is um, the width is 8.625, 8.625 by okay, 8.75. So make sure that it is in inches and we're going to create a new design. Alright, so now here is the template that we are going to use for our interior. Okay, so I'm going to make at least, I don't know how many pages I can make for this story, but if you see here in KDP, just scroll down guys here and you will see here how many pages. So 8.5 by 8.5, this is my my size, okay? So you can create 24 to 590 pages black and white black and pink but if you're going to use the standard color ink and a white paper for 8.5 by 8.5 you need a 72 pages so that you can use this one okay or premium color ink for white paper uh, at least 24 pages okay so we're going back to canva and um, there you go so what we're gonna do here is we're going to put a margin here so the margin here is 0 0.125 
uh, on both sides on the top and at the bottom okay so if you don't see the margin just click the file go to setting that show the margin okay so for the right and the left we're gonna make the same 0 0.125 so let's say 0 1.125 it's so okay there you go and on the top also is 0 0.125 Alright, so now once you finish your margin, just eyeball it guys because we cannot get the exact 0 0.125 so at least you have this uh, space because they're gonna cut it here. Alright, so now um, it depends on how many pages that you want so I'm gonna, what I wanna do here is I want to leave this space for uh, for the title i'm gonna leave this space for oh no this is another page and this is the page for the title and i'm gonna add more more pages for this book maybe at least 24 pages so i don't know how much you know pages that i can make it for that story so what you're gonna do is just to add the page add the page so i'm thinking about let's create like 24 okay and you can make it more if you want to well it depends on how long is your story so what I want to do here is I'm gonna leave this one and I'm gonna uh, put the text here and I'm gonna put the image here on the other side so on the left is the text and on the right is the image of the okay. book so well it so now I'm going to put here the phrase the first one that we uh, created here is I'm going to go back here and I'm just going to copy this one and go back here and paste it. Okay, so now here is the... Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure that you make this a little bit smaller, guys, because once you cut it, you don't want to be cut, okay? And also you can... Um, the spacing of this, the letter spacing, maybe the line spacing like that so it's easy for you to read guys and you can just move it here just make sure that this is in the middle of your page and you can also put some uh, color up for this so I uh, choose the yellow so maybe you can choose yellow you can choose pink it's all up to you guys alright so now once you finish with that and then here we're going to uh, put the image of your book so look at here guys so here is the title once you open that and then here is the the story of the book and here is you're going to um, paste the image of this story all right so okay let's go back here let's just make sure that this is in the middle so now here we're going back here to the apps as you see guys and then uh, we're going back to the magic media and then we're going to choose which one whatever you want you like okay so I might use this one again and just make sure because this is a bit so you can just make this as big as you want just like that and it will copy anyway all right all right so there you go so here is the text and here is the image okay so go ahead guys same uh same process as we did you go again here and just copy and paste so keep doing this at the same time guys so um go ahead go to canva paste this one and create an image and i'll be back to you guys once i finish all of this all right guys so to to check if your text that you copy from uh chat gpt is plagiarized go to this site plagiarism.io and all you have to do is just to copy all the chat gpt gave to you here and then wait for a second and then you will see if it is plagiarized or not so now when you, you click this one uh you will see it's already 100 percent checking and four percent is plagiarized and 96 percent is unique and here it will show you which part of your content is plagiarized so here the details is unique this one is unique it's okay okay so scroll down here and you will see which part is plagiarized so there you go to dino he declared whose journey to mastering table models has brought up closer together as friends so this phrase is plagiarized so for you guys to to you know take this off what you're gonna do is to copy this one and go to a kit ball uh, let's paraphrase that or rephrase that 
paraphrase okay copy this one and let's paraphrase it okay here, there you go so here we're gonna erase this one and replace the one that we copied okay so we just copy and paste here we, we're gonna change the one the one that is plagiarized so we're going to test this one again if all is gonna be okay okay check the plagiarism and let's wait for a second guys so let's see how it goes okay okay as you see it's checking so let's wait for a minute because we changed the one that is plagiarized so that we can copy and paste all of this into our um, into your inside of Canva. All right, so now 100% zero plagiarize, 100% unique. So all of these are okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is just we're going to copy this one one by one and let's go back to Canva. So I already made this one. So as I showed you guys down here, we are in Canva and I already made my first page, which is the Dining with Dino. So I, create this one and written by my 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 name or myself so uh, and written by you just put the name over this is optional guys so you don't need to do that if you don't want to and then I copy the first one and then here is the image which I use for the apps and the next is I'm going to back again here and copy the the second uh, paragraph like this one which is why he loved to feast on a delicious ferns and crunching leaves, his dining habits often left much to be desired. And I'm going to copy this one and go back again to Canva and paste here. Okay, there you go. And then you can just make this bigger, bigger as you want, but make sure that you put this into the inside of your page. Okay, so I can arrange the spacing guys if it is too you know there you go the letter spacing you can also arrange this one like that and then you can also put the color okay so I just put this one all right so now we're going to create another image for this so what we're gonna do here is to copy this one again and go to the apps and click the uh, magic media and we're going back here and then we're going to paste this one here while well, he loved to face on the dishes so we're going to create again an anime and let's generate an image so let's wait for a second guys while we're generating so you just go on and go on do the same thing copy paste copy paste I'm gonna choose this one and there you go so I'm just gonna stretch this one here just go ahead and stretch it so there you go so here is the text and here is the image okay so go ahead guys same uh, same process as we did you go again here and just copy and paste the one his love his rings reach across the table and sometimes even forgot to say please and thank you okay so keep doing this at the same time guys so um, go ahead go to Canva paste this one and create an image and I'll be back to you guys once I finish all of this all right guys so now I'm back and I'm done with the story so here you go so here is the templates that I made so one is the title and then on the other side is the story the text and the other side of the page is the image so you can also put the the text on top or wherever at the bottom of this image but this is another kind of you know style that you can I use to create a children's book so next time I'm gonna show you guys how you can put all this on top of this so what we're going to do next is once you finish all of this we will go to the share and we're going to download all of this into uh, PDF okay so uh, not the PNG we're going to uh, choose the PDF print so that we can um, print this children's book we may upload it on KDP so PDF print click this one and of course before you print that you check all of this if you forgot something then all right so now here I forgot something look at that oh no okay I'm gonna cancel this one and since I'm looking for okay I make this one you see this one all right so here I need to 
resize this one. So I think once I finish with that, let's go ahead and go back to this. And let's check again, guys, before we download it, since everything is on the same font, I think. Same font, same font. There you go. Make sure that you check all of this before you download. And there you go. Okay, so once I finish with that, let's go here to the share and let's go back. So click download and choose the PDF print. Okay, so once I click this one, so when you download these guys, choose the CMYK. This is best for professional printing. Okay, there are two types of uh, digital use. You can use RGB, you can use CMYK, but for KDP, click this one and yeah. So once you finish this one, we're going to download it. Okay, so uh, all pages, I have 43 pages. PDF print, CMYK best professional uh, printing, and I will click download. Okay. All right. So we're now done, guys. And once you finish downloading, and then I'm gonna make another video, guys, on how we can upload this storybook, children's book, into KDP. Alright, so thank you so much guys for watching and if you like my video, please click the like and do subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Alright, so now it's downloading and I'm going to save this into my desktop and on my next video, I'm going to show you guys how I will upload this into KDP. Alright, so thank you so much guys for watching. Bye for now. Place where they told you what to chase.